Hey there, I wanted to show you something really cool that I ran into today. Not something I'm typically into, but this is about a 200 pound wild boar. And I had a guy say, hey, will you do mine? I just killed a 600 pounder. Well, I'm under the impression, no, no, no. I believe wholeheartedly that wild pigs don't break 400 pounds. I just don't think they have the makeup or the feed to do that. However, if you take a domestic pig and you let him go in the wild, he'll start to develop a tusk in one day. So in 30 days, they can have a pretty identifiable tusk um, and they would act like a wild pig. However, they don't have wild pig genetics. Anyway, here's this pig. Can you see any differences whatsoever? <laughs> uh, gotta love it. So the, the, the clearest distinction, as far as I know, between wild pigs and domestic pigs is the, is the, um, the pitch of the nose. You can see how this is laid pretty straight. And you can see from here to here, there's a huge dish gap. Plus the width of the head, the jowl meat, the inset of the eyes, just everything about it. So today, we're gonna take this quasi wild-ish domestic pig and uh, do him up. First thing first, man, we just got started. Anytime you get and you start skinning and you have a big bloodshot area, <clears throat> you can almost guarantee it got hit by a bullet. And I can tell you already that that jaw is cracked, meaning that there's some sort of damage somewhere else. At that point, call the client and say, hey, did you shoot it in the head? Do you know that there's gonna be some damage? Just a heads up. You don't want somebody to think that you did it. Um, a lot of times I'll take a photo right here and send it to them before I went any further. If you wanna see a pig head get rebuilt, there's a video a couple of back from this one that will show you that, but pretty straightforward. A little super glue and putting together a puzzle. Alright. Oh. Oh. This is hogwash. See what I did there? Hogwash. Hilarious. Okay, y'all, same old story. Get as much tissue off there as you can, put it in a big pot of water, give it a hearty scoop of OxyClean, bring it to a boil until the flesh on the nose starts to split. For me, that's the first indicator it's ready to start getting power washed. This skull, as I started to power wash, I realized that the eye socket was broke. So I'll get down on hands and knees and start pulling those bones apart and putting them in a little strainer basket so I don't lose them. I'm already aware I'm gonna have to rebuild this skull. You hear me say it on every video, spray, 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 every hole, every orifice, anywhere there's tissue, make it go away. All right, I got both skulls clean. You can see just the dramatic differences between the two. This one took half the amount of time in the boil and took half the amount of pressure to get it clean. This bone is really, really porous and really, really soft. That tends to show more of that domestic strain. So you have to be really careful. Uh, and you can also see, and I don't know if you can tell or not, but as this is starting to lighten or dry out, it's much wider. There's less oil in this than there is in this. This thing is almost all tan. And then I take all the parts, like this skull was broke. There's the eye socket piece, all the teeth. I always throw them in their own little strainer. So when I can set this right in the boiling peroxide, I know that this stuff goes here and this one goes here. And uh, we'll see how they all turn out. But because this is porous, I'm gonna run a little different peroxide mix. So I think I got about four gallons of water over there. 
after I'm getting warm, I'm going to get them all completely submerged, and then I'm going to give it one gallon of uh, peroxide. I'm going to bring it to a boil, give them a quick rinse, back in the peroxide, no heat, just turn it off in hot peroxide like I was doing with the bear, if you saw that video, and let it sit overnight. And what the intention is, is to have that peroxide, the greatest degreaser around, just leach that oil out. Then I'll bring it to a boil one more time, rinse them, and we'll take a quick look. The number one question I get is where do you get your peroxide and how much to use? I buy my peroxide from any local beauty supply, and I like to use 50% peroxide, 50% water, unless I know the skull needs less or more, and that's really going to be a judgment call and an experience thing. Use that as a basis, and you should be covered for most all skulls. Seriously, can you believe the size of this freaking big? Look at that thing. I pulled this out of the pot yesterday sooner than the other pig. The other one's over here drying. I'll put them together and take a few pictures for the video, but these big, I'm not trying to knock this pig at all, but the big, more domestic strain pigs will not take the heat. This is really porous. I can actually see through the bone right here. Um, and it was in that peroxide mix. I was gonna leave it overnight and I checked on it when we got home from dinner and I was like, it's gotta come out. So it was probably in there for about five hours and it wasn't a real strong mix. And I think you remember in the video where it was broken. So I patched that back together. The jaw was where the most of the damage was. But at least it sits level and upright. So now we just got to mop and glow it, and we got her done. That thing is a dang beast. <laughs> I want to take a quick minute and thank everyone for watching and commenting on these videos. It means a ton to me. I put these together for the do-it-yourselfer out there. I was self-taught, so I love to be able to help teach people who are interested. If you have the money, I always suggest you use your local tax dermis. But if you want to give it a go, hopefully this is enough direction to where you got good looking skulls. There's been a big request for me to do some small game skulls, foxes, coyotes, bobcats, things of that nature. I hope by next week I'll be able to put something together and share it with you. Till next week, thank you so much for watching.